This is Wendy. Wendy is a young woman very much connected with her dreams. But, like most of us, she struggles between the two roles that dreams play in her life. There are the dreams we have when we are asleep, and the dreams of reality. The stories, images, situations, and changes that one has the need to bring into the world. What they have in common is that they begin in the mind. But giving them life is not as simple. After being around her, she has shown me that there is a world and a life that exists before dreams can be explained and finally realized. It's basically everything else that happens while dreaming. Wendy's an artist. Her art is in some ways a manifestation of her dreams, without words or description. It's a language, but it's not the whole message. Making a change in the world is sometimes as simple as speaking, though often that means using every breath. We almost missed her sister Zinnia's wedding because of a family argument, but we all made it. It's like she wasn't gonna go and there was another big fight. Huh? I didn't want to put any effort in to change my mind about it. going. If I said the last time was that I said I was gonna go, then I'm just tired, sick of all of this. I just wanted to be over with her. For now, there will always be a path to cross between dream and reality. And each side is a part of the other. This is Wendy's story.
I hadn't been to one for like six, seven years, and then you know here's like buildings and condos and high rises on one side, and then I just turn and see a big lure like, stepping into a whole different world, and being so close to something so foreign to myself and to the city, something that you can only go to like across the world to to see and this this creature like so beautiful. See I think what animals need it's not just shelter and, and water. It's not okay to just have them in a room and feed them. Millions of years now their instinct their the knowledge that they're born with they have whatever environment that they're born in instilled in them. It's it's very unnatural to, to like the environment that they're supposed to be in. See a human when we're born everyone needs a TV or everyone needs a refrigerator and you know all these material things like they can't live without I think I could sense it to like think about how it must feel so it'd be kind of like a, a human living in a cardboard box in an alley or one alley and not going back and forth and never being able to like get out of there. Maybe how a starving person in, in, uh, in like Africa just not being able to get out of the wars that are going on in there and they're just hungry and you know all they see is piles of garbage and and it smells and They can't go to a village where it's beautiful, where there's trees and like, fruits and vegetables and, and sunlight. If I, I'll start thinking about it and there comes a point where if I go on like, further, I'll just, I'll just feel like killing myself or something because it's so depressing. You know, not for myself, but for, like, it, it would just be an insult to animals that are actually going through the stuff. And then here I am with feeling bad and, and uh, you know, not wanting to feel it, just trying to find an easy way out. about all this stuff but I know that it's not gonna be like this and, and I feel it in me like I know that I'm gonna be doing stuff like I know I'm gonna be an activist and, like I just I know it